Hey, what's going on guys? Jay here bringing you a case review and I haven't actually done a case review in a while on this channel. I mean, to me, to be quite honest, it might seem a little bit uh, kind of contrary to what you've seen recently on this channel. I'm not a whole lot of a case whore. In fact, if it holds all of your computer components, it keeps things nice and cool and it looks good, that's what I think you should go with. I don't have a whole lot of opinions when it comes to cases. But the Fractal Design Node 804 brings something kind of interesting to the table. And that is that this is a cube designed micro ATX computer case. So a lot of people are starting to go towards that cube design. Well, this is the first one that I've seen that's actually a micro ATX or smaller. I mean, look at the size of this box. This is, this is not a very big box to be holding something that's a, a double wide cube design. So let's go ahead and take a look at this bad boy from our uh, Swedish friends, Fractal Design. Now, I'll be honest, I'm not one of those guys who gets all caught up on the type of packing material that they use to ship a case. I mean, come on, it's a case. It's not that heavy. For the most part, this closed cell foam is gonna take the, it's gonna absorb any of the damage that can happen during dropping and stuff. I just don't get all flustered about packing material like some other people do. I mean, I wouldn't really recommend ever shipping a case uh, that's got a complete system in it in its own box like this, I would always recommend double boxing. So if, we're, if you're even concerned about that, always double box and use your own judgment when it comes to packing it. Now, when it comes to the actual, my hand is stuck. I hate that. When these little, these little flaps go down and then you stick your hand in there and it acts like a hook, that's scary. All right, there she is now in all of her clothes, foam, packing goodness static electricity haven right now. It's one of the things I hate most about the packaging of cases is they become just one big giant static electricity farm, if you will. So you definitely should always make sure you get all the static out of your case before you start building it, that's for sure. So they got some literature in here and we can just kind of toss that aside. So here's the cube right here. Now one of the things I love already about this case, and I'm going to take my ring off for this very reason, uh, no I'm not going to marry the case. I did not just leave my wife for this case, although I will have to admit it is a very sexy case. One of the things Fractal Design has been doing with like the uh, Arc series is using kind of a simulated brushed aluminum or brushed uh, metal look. And on the 804, they bring you real brushed metal on the front. So definite plus on that. Now, looking at the front here, we have some mesh at the bottom, and this is for letting in fresh air to the front fans. Moving around to the left side here, we do have our slot load DVD CD drive. We have our audio jacks, our headphones input output, and then we have our power button. There's no reset button, just a power button. And then we have two USB 3.0. Moving around to the back, you can see that we do have a uh, a side-by-side -side design, and that's what makes this thing a cube. Now, the cool thing about this design is it allows you to keep the compartments, well, compartmentalized so that you can have good control over the heat. Your power supply and your hard drives and all that stuff are completely separate from the front side of the case, which gives you very good control over the cooling of this. Now, your power supply obviously goes over here. It's got nice rubber feet. It also has a removable filter, but the filter actually removes from the bottom. We'll get onto that more onto that in a second. And then you have got your uh, thumb screws here that remove all of your panels. Speaking of panels, the side where all of the bits go has a nice clear window on there. So there's your nice clear window and it's gonna show all of your PC parts very, very easily. And it just slides off like that. Now you can kind of get a good idea of how small this case really is. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell on camera the actual size of this thing, but it actually is uh, quite smaller than it looks. Now the top panel comes off the same way here, just a couple of thumb screws. And this thing then slides back and comes straight up. And you can see the whole top panel is pretty much just one big giant meshed vent. So that's good news. Now that we've got all the panels off, we're starting to get a pretty good idea of what this case is made of. And uh, as you can see, the front pops off just as easily there to expose all of our front panel connectors and our brushed aluminum uh, fascia. 
But one thing I want to show you here is you can see that you do have easily removable filters. They are designed to remove from the bottom technically, even with the fascia on. So let me go ahead and put that back on. So you could tilt it forward and then you could pull the front fan filters out this way for easy cleaning. As we look at the bottom of the case, I, I'm kind of greeted with my first um, WTF moment. And from that, this is why, when it comes to the filters. Now I understand the power supply filter, why it comes out the way that it does, because it's easier to come out the front and tilt your PC up than it is to get it to move all the way out the back, especially if your PC is near a wall or something like that. And I can't actually get that back in, there we go. So that makes sense, tilt it, you know, pull it forward a few inches, tilt it back, get to the filter. But the thing I don't understand is, knowing that, I don't understand why the actual side for the motherboard is meant to come out of the rear, knowing that it's difficult to actually get long piece or fan filters like this out, and that actually fits in there very, very tight. I mean, look how long this filter is. You'd have to pull that quite a ways away from the wall in order to get that filter all the way out. It's, not, it's kind of a moot point though, if you're not using any bottom mounted fans on there. So just to kind of point that out, I don't think that's really too much of a negative. I just, I'm curious why they didn't make it come out the front. I think that would have made a little more sense, but once again, that's just my opinion. Now here's the inside of the case. Everything is sleeved in black. It's got black plastic sieving, or it's just bare black wire. I think that's fantastic. Here again, they go with the white fans and white bits on the inside. I do think personally, I'd kind of like to see this all black. I mean, the blackout R Define R4 looks so good at CES. I kind of wish I had kept that going with uh, these other brand or these other cases from the same brand. You have a fan controller right here, a built-in fan controller with a SATA plug. That's a good plus. I'm tired of seeing four pen Molex. That's definitely on its way out. You get an included 120 millimeter fan on the CPU side and an included 100 and again, 20 millimeter fan on this side, but it is also capable of housing a 140 millimeter. On the front, we do also have a 120 millimeter intake and that is pretty much it. Now you can outfit this with more fans on the top, more fans on the front, more fans on both sides, but this is where you start to really come to the conclusion of there's a lot of give and take when it comes to this case. If we take a look at the top, you can see those fan mounts are completely blocked by the hard drive cages. Even so, where if you remove one of the hard drive cages, you're still gonna have a little bit of an issue when it comes to clearance because as you can see, the hard, hard drive cage track, I don't know if, how well you can see that, I'm gonna try and show it on camera. The hard drive cage track still interferes with the mounts for the 120 millimeter fan. So really, if you wanna use fans on this side at all, it's an all or nothing. You've gotta take both cages out if you wanna access even one fan slot. So that's a little bit of a design choice that I think there was a little bit more compromise than many of us would be willing to make. Once again, because this is on the hard drive power supply side, it's not that big of a deal unless you need to utilize these top portions here for additional water cooling. Because you could put a 240 millimeter radiator uh, on both sides of this as well as the front if you want it. But the downside is, once again, to use a 240 millimeter right on this side, you'd have to take the hard drive cages out. Now I heard a lot of people kind of complain about the fact that they are hanging drives rather than being horizontally mounted drives. I think I agree with that a little bit, but I'm not entirely too concerned with it. Uh, the, only, uh, the biggest downside for me that I'm a little sad about though is the fact that I can't put a 120 on this side and still have the drive cage on there. But I think as long as you have a front intake and you have your exhaust on here, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. We are talking about just hard drives and power supply if you don't need to utilize any of this space for water cooling. I mean, that's kind of what this case is bringing to the table here. It's, it's a very versatile cube. The only downside to this is it feels like in order to utilize a lot of the functions that's built into this cube, you have to make some sacrifices as well. It's got some really cool features. I mean, it's got really nice pass-through design right here on the floor. You can put uh, floor-mounted fans on here if you wanted up to, it looks like 80 millimeter. It's got your box of hardware, of course. And one of the things that I know people have been really excited about is the fact that it does have this, uh, let's get this box out of here. It does have these large Velcro straps on here on the bottom that you can utilize for wire management. I think anything that aids in the uh, improvement of cable management is gonna be a huge plus regardless of who the case manufacturer is. And I really do like this case. 
So guys, this has been the Node 804 from Fractal Design. Pretty much a first look here on Jay's Two Cents. Well, not really a first look. I mean, there's been plenty of other people who've done it besides me, but this is my first time looking at it, getting all hands-on and you know, getting all touchy-feely with this thing. I wonder if they're gonna make a white one. Hey, hey Fractal, if you're watching, are you guys gonna make a white one? I think white ones would look pretty badass as well. So, all right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get the heck on out of here. Tell me what you guys think about this case down in the description. Follow on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that social media stuff if you wanna get a little bit more personal and, and talk about tech and PCs and I guess pretty much anything else you'd like to talk about. As long as it's within reason, of course. Unlike that one time. All right guys, time to go. As always, I will see you in the next one.